What's up, Twitch? It's go time. It's go time. What we got here, guys? We got honey barbecue chicken and broccoli sweet potato sandwiches. What's up, Krishna? The sandwich lids are on the side. Purdue chicken. Where the fuck is it? Purdue honey barbecue. Purdue honey barbecue. Ah. What's up, J Law? Stringari. The hell is this? So we're just gonna get this started. We got some syrup on the side, syrup gun. It's got, it's got almost the same macros. The difference is, the difference is, um, these are bigger chunks, basically, chicken chunks. And the TGI Fridays is smaller. This is better. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about yesterday. What's up, Trent? Which I said, in my personal opinion, I like this better. I like these a lot better as far as honey barbecue goes. A lot better. Let's give you guys a close up one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what's up guys? Honey barbecue chicken, honey barbecue chicken and broccoli sweet potato sandwich time. Let's go. Gotta get this balance right. What's up guys? Honey barbecue chicken sweet potato sandwich time. Let's go. It's not spinning. Let me put it here. Oh man. We lost two. I think that was it. Fuck. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Can we save it? You Twitch guys are just gonna get used, are have, gonna have to get used to the fuck ups. There are many fuck ups. Which I never show on the gram. Or I should say usually never show on the gram. If it's really bad, I'll show it. What's up guys? Honey barbecue chicken sweet potato Honey barbecue chicken and broccoli. What's up guys? Honey barbecue chicken and broccoli sweet potato sandwich time. Let's go. All right, let's go. Here's, let's talk about this bread real quick. You guys hear the knocking? You see how soft it is inside? We gotta do this over and over again. What's up, fruit mans? Cause somebody's gonna be like, stale ass bread. Let's see.
paint a pretty picture. Let's get it started. If it drips, cheers. The drink is just five calorie juice. Don't be alarmed, guys. So, like I said, this honey barbecue, Purdue. Mm. In my personal opinion, is way better than TGI Fridays. As far as buffalo chicken, I'd probably pick TGI Fridays if you're straight up buffalo chicken. As far as sriracha chicken, TGI Fridays in Purdue. TGI Fridays is spicier. Purdue's less spicy. I like the taste of the Purdue. As far, well, that's all the TGI Fridays has. Why does it make you feel sad, Mortfield? Are you just ate Wingstop? I may be doing a video at Wingstop sooner or later. Thank you. Thank you. A friend of a friend recently opened up a Wingstop in, I want to say New Brunswick or North Brunswick. Maybe we'll do something there. What is this? These are sandwiches. A sandwich is food between bread. My body composition. Now, first of all, before I make any statements, I don't remember exactly. Second of all, second of all, these machines that test your body composition and body makeup, how accurate are they? I really don't know. I really don't know. Which is why I never check anything, man. But anyhow, long story short, long story short, it claimed um, about 6% body fat. Check that out. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, for Christ's sake. I'm not a competitive eater. <laughs> you come in here every day with some ignorant comments. The bow tie provides happiness. It makes me smile. It should make you smile. And me smiling should make you smile also. It's, I think it said like 6.2. It could have been 6.8. I really don't remember. 
again, which is why I'm not stuck on these things. Because before I took it, I'm like, it's going to say I'm like 6% and I don't even buy it. However, interesting thing. Thank you, Camacho. This food is good. Interesting thing. Is. Well, if you need a happiness e-tab, you need to fix your nutrition. Um, I said I was very bloated. I don't remember what the water weight was, but. The percentage of, like, extra water I was carrying was ridiculous. So. Based on that, maybe I am the body fat percentage that I claim. Because she was like, oh, damn. Wow. You said you were carrying water. And I carry water because I eat a lot of carbs. No, I'm not a doctor. Etab, you're not going to have happiness until you learn to start eating again. Yes, I'm drinking honey. You're the new part of sp smartest person in my stream. I mean, are you a doctor? That's actually a valid question because there are a lot of doctors who are in the fitness and nutrition world. But are you drinking honey is probably a less valid question because honey doesn't just drink through a straw. Check it. Hmm. E tab, if you want to. If you want to find happiness, I recommend you seeing a nutritionist. That's what I recommend. That's fine by me, ID Crisis. Look, this is my kitchen. I'll smack my lips if I want to. So anyway, Etab, even though, even though I could take complete control of your nutrition and fix your health and your life, you haven't listened to me up until this point. So, being that I know you would waste my time, I will find somebody I have a few people in mind that would help you. I don't think anyone did my Thanksgiving challenge, Kirk. I don't think so. That's a great question, Florence. I have no fucking clue. But, that's pretty much on par with, are you drinking honey? Like, how can you sip honey through a straw? They're like, is the honey in the gun? How would honey shoot out of a gun? No, I'm not. I'm very new to Twitch.
I'm brand new here, but I would like to make a living off of Twitch. Mm -hmm. e Etab, you want me to be nice or be honest? Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. <clears throat> this is a half gallon jug. I think a half gallon is at this line here. Be honest. You look very sick. And you're going to need to start feeding your body nutrients. That's me being that's me being honest and that's why I didn't show the full body picture of you. Because I didn't want people to to jump out at you and start going off on you. But that's me being honest. If you want me to send you, uh, send a picture and I'll, I'll show it in the stream, I will. However, just be prepared for what people are going to say. That's me being honest. Syrup gun. There it is. Syrup gun. Oh yeah, if it drips. Yes, I am the bloke who eats big meals once per day. That is correct. Mm -hmm. ETAB will not show her body on Instagram. She doesn't look that bad, but she won't show anybody. If she turns sideways, she's invisible. So take a sideways invisible picture. You're amazing. First of all, the sweet potato. These are Betty Crocker sweet potato mashed potatoes. For everybody who just jumped in here, this meal is disgusting. I'm force feeding myself honey barbecue chicken, sweet potato, and bread. With syrup, it's so bad. So bad. I may look like I'm enjoying myself, but it's so bad. I do have a degree in sarcasm. <laughs> Etab, do you want to show anybody what you look like? My newly consumed energy will be going towards fight class tomorrow night. How often do I brush my teeth? Usually twice a day.
I know I'm so fat. I'm so fat. 6% body fat. You don't care, show it. All right. I had five sandwiches, I'm so fat. All right, let me find this, let me find this. You sure you want me to show this, E-Tab? Are you sure? I'm giving you a chance to back out. You consent that I show your picture in here. Please confirm, E-Tab. Let's see some ID. Just Google me and you can find me in any mainstream news publication. Are you sure, Etab? <laughs> Google Blake intermittent fasting. All right, I'm not. I'm not going to attack you. I'm not going to attack you. I'm just showing a picture. Hold on, I gotta. I gotta friggin' save it because otherwise you can't fucking zoom in. There you go. Yes, there's weird people in here, I know. Okay, so, anyway. If you want to look me up, look, look up my name, Blake. New York Post. Daily, uh, the Daily Sun, Daily Mail UK. Wow. Guys, please be nice to Etab. Constructive criticism, no douchey comments. Actually, you know what? Hit my hit my info page. ID crisis, just hit my info tab on Twitch. Yeah, I don't think she should, Death Lion. She doesn't consume enough nutrients to support herself, never mind another another life. That would be irresponsible. I've actually had people reach out to me. Yeah, definitely don't hit the info tab. Don't hit it. Billy, you're right, Billy. It is a step up from her always getting banned. ID crisis, you're just going to time out for being annoying.
I didn't lose 60 pounds by fasting and hitting the gym. I did fast and hit the gym, but I lost 60 pounds by consuming less calories than I expended. So what obviously works is a caloric deficit. Fasting makes a caloric deficit easy. Vegan is the way is already blocked. Look, if you want to be vegan, by all means be vegan, but don't push your diet on others. Yes, Death Lion. And I'm going to name it Death Lion. This recipe is a classic recipe that I do pretty frequently. What's up, Polo Man? <laughs> Carl Jesus. This is like, I've, I've had her. Oh, and, and LJ, yes. My Monday's going very well. Thank you. Osha, Osha must definitely love you. Your company gets fined for, for you watching Twitch and crashing a forklift. Just tell him Blake 201 sent you. Polo Man is Jesus. Carl Jesus. Carl Jesus Smith. <laughs> Again, this is a syrup gun. There's syrup in the gun. Look, Mo, the only diet, the only way to lose fat is a caloric deficit. <laughs> that is it. If you want to do the Vince Garanda diet, steak and eggs, you know what that makes you do? The same thing as friggin' keto or Atkins. You, you shed a bunch of water weight and you think you lost fat and you're like clapping, high-fiving yourself. Ah, I lost a ton of weight so fast. You can't lose fat that fast. <laughs> you can lose maybe like if you're if you're heavy, a couple pounds of fat a week. <laughs> well, keto isn't BS. Keto for fat loss is BS. What's up, Darmish? Hmm. Now, you can lose fat on keto, but you got to be at a caloric deficit. And your meals are going to be smaller than if you actually ate carbs. And most people, from my experience, from my experience, I've had a lot of people come from keto, right? Come to me from keto and say they want to do intermittent fasting, right? And I say, all right, cool. And when I'm, when I'm talking to them, I say, you know, you can do keto and intermittent fasting. And they're like, nah, fuck that. I got it. I get it. It's just people are so sick of not eating carbs. Once they realize they can eat carbs, they're just like, fuck this. 
I'm out. <clears throat> or I know why you're freezing. Thank you, Mo. I got six lids left. Do I have six sandwiches left? Yes, I do. Look, any diet, any diet you can do, vegan, vegetarian, friggin' keto, some fucking crazy moronic bullshit, whatever you do, as long as you get the proper nutrients. As long as you get the proper nutrients. That's number one. And you can do that with all those diets. Oh yeah, check that drip action out. Well, hitting the gym is great for you. Eating properly is great for you. But doing it only because you're laid off, you should do it anyway. Honestly, this syrup is only 60 calories an entire cup. So, I usually estimate afterwards, but like, ah, uh, ETAB wants to talk to the Russian guy. If you're eating every day, if you're eating at least one meal a day, you're not going to screw up your desire to eat. I'm drinking honey. No. No. If you start doing alternate day fa fasting, or you try to do a water fast, which is the biggest load of bullshit, stupid, like stupid diet in the world. Then you may lose your desire to eat. A water fast is the new craze. It's basically... You just drink water for like... Three days a week. 30 days. People are just drinking water for 30 days, right? You're basically going to lose some fat, lose all your water weight. You're going to fuck up your metabolism. This is just juice. This is five calorie juice. Mm -hmm. Completely blow your metabolism. And lose any muscle, any muscle and bone, not any muscle, any muscle you had and a lot of bone mass. So, beware of the magical water fast. Some quack was on the doctors preaching a 60-day water fast or something.
<laughs> That's pretty funny, Trent. Don't even worry about your friends. You know when your friends will realize that you know more about nutrition than them? When they see you eating ice cream all the time and either losing weight or managing your weight however you want to manage it. And they keep asking you questions. They keep asking you questions. So, like, I know this because I have friends who have asked me a lot of questions over time. And they'd be like, so, first, first my diet was dumb. First my diet didn't work. Then it was unhealthy. Then it was... You still get hungry, and it doesn't really, it's not sustainable. Well, then it was, are you really going to eat all that? Holy shit. Then it was, I saw you on TV. Then it was, I saw you in the paper. I saw you here, I saw you there. I'm not saying you're going to end up in TV and paper and all you if you're doing intermittent fasting. I'm just saying, once they see you eat in front of them, Nah, bro, there's more to it. <laughs> there's more to it. You got to eat clean. You got to wash your, your food with detergent before you eat it. You know what, Trump? At the very beginning, I used to lose my shit. And then once I... Once I caught fame... And I'm not... I'm not telling you I'm famous. I'm still not famous enough. I walk down the street and people know who I am, but... I don't feel like I'm a celebrity yet. But once I started to catch that... I was just like, fuck these people. <laughs> How is not eating all day no self control? Here's my argument. Here's my argument if you want one. If you want arguments for intermittent fasting. Overhead press. I don't know. Like. Max. I don't know. 140. Could be higher. I don't know. I haven't pressed in a while. No. First of all, it's they're jealous. Let me break it down. They're jealous. <clears throat> when I get a hater in the stream, it's the same thing as a jealous friend. They're just jealous. They don't... And you can give them all the information, but they're probably lazy. And... They don't want to freaking... Come to the conclusion. Later, Krishna. Have a good day. What's up, Edsta? They don't want to come to the conclusion that, hey, maybe I've been wrong all this time. So that's number one. Number two. 
Tell them they have no self-control. Self-gratification. Tell them the reason they're not happy people is self-gratification. Because I shaved my chest. Like a real man. So, if you eat all day, so there's self-gratification. There's trying to digest while moving. Breakfast is the worst meal of the day. There's, there's a bunch of things you could say. But, like, at the end of the day, the best thing to say is do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I love my diet. And give it like, I don't know, a couple years, intermittent fasting. Look, I'm one of the people who's helped put intermittent fasting on the map. That, that I will take credit for. I didn't invent intermittent fasting. But yes, breakfast is the worst meal of the day. I didn't invent intermittent fasting, but I helped put it on the map, big time. And I'm going to keep pushing it. I'm going to keep putting myself out there and I'm intermittent fasting. So, these are sandwiches. It's going to be more popular in a year. As am I. <coughs> um, well, I don't care what anybody does. <coughs> That's part of the reason why so many people are attracted to my diet. Is because breakfast is a waste of calories and it just makes you hungry. Breakfast is like... Eating breakfast is like waking up, rolling out of bed, and like taking like $20 and throwing it out the window before your day gets even started. On your way to work. On your way to work, and you're making under minimum wage. Alright. How about this? Waking up and throwing $40, $40 out the window, going to work. Thank you, Ash. Throwing $40 out the window to go to work, and it'll take you a few hours to make the $40 that you just threw out the window back. Be like, no, man, I need to throw it out the window. It's like, what? They say you should you should throw your money out in small spurts spread out throughout the day. And then your friends want to go out. Your friends want to go out and you're like, no, I don't have any money. And you're like, why don't you have any money? I don't know, man. Meanwhile, you're throwing $40 out the window every morning. Nobody spends $40 on breakfast. I'm comparing money. I'm comparing money to calories. I'm saying you're throwing a decent amount of calories out the window for breakfast. Before your day even gets started. <laughs> Salad. Salad, click my info page. My info page, you'll find it all there. No, my food's my food's getting cold by now.
because crowns, like Mo, thank you, Mo, crowns are paid subscribers and swords are mods. Never said I'm a legend. One second. It's four ninety nine a month. No ads. Hold on. And I believe you could use, if you're not subscribed to anybody, I believe you can use your Amazon Prime account for one free monthly subscription. This is... Hold on. This is me. Yeah, E-Tab, great that you saw the video already. Some people didn't. You want to get timed out, E-Tab? Um, what was I going to say? In, in reference to... I don't know where that Jenny picture... Oh, oh, my girlfriend... Oh, she did post it. She posted it recently, no? Did she, did she post it? No, she posted it to her story. Hold on, let me see if I have it after this. Um, otherwise the fast motion eating video is gonna be ruined. But in reference to diabetes, um, intermittent fasting has been used to, in many cases, in many cases, um, put type 2 diabetes into remission. Because intermittent fasting lowers insulin resistance. It lowers insulin resistance. And also... And also, supposedly helps control insulin. Now, while I say that, when I say that, that doesn't mean you can reverse diabetes eating as many carbs as I do. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. What's up, Jebby? But... I'm just saying it would be wiser if you're trying to reverse diabetes to adhere to a different, a, a slightly different uh, nutrient breakdown. Possibly keto and intermittent fasting.
It's funny. ETAB is like all about guys. And Darmish is right. If she ate, she'd have men all over her. And if, if she had men all over her, she wouldn't even want them. She was like, these guys are so annoying. They won't leave me alone. Wait, who's Darmish's online girlfriend? <laughs> syrup sandwiches? Well, there's... There's syrup on them, Kendrick. That's where it's from, that Kendrick Lamar song, right? And, and syrup and bread is amazing. LJ, you have a good day. Oh, before you go, LJ, if you guys could turn on post notifications on Instagram, I would greatly appreciate it. Instagram is fucking crushing me. They're not showing my posts if it doesn't get like crazy engagement in the first few minutes. Thank you, Young. No, it's not like the Hodge Swins diet. This diet is more like being a man. Or a chick who eats more than the Hodge Twins. I hear that. <laughs> Instagram's been screwing me big time. So. You can. You can. Have your calories right in... A three hour window or a 24 hour window, but I recommend getting the proper nutrients. And I don't know what the hot swims do, I really don't. So I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I used to watch them, I watched them after I found out they were intermittent fasting when I was already intermittent fasting. Carl, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> As a mood stabilizer or insomnia? I'm not the right person to ask for two reasons. One, I eat to go to sleep. So, insomnia, as far as insomnia, I wish I could go to sleep earlier, but like, I've just got so much shit to do, so... So I really don't know, like, my schedule is so busy that I'm up all night, but I could, yeah, I could fall asleep anywhere. I could stand, I could lean up against a wall and just fall asleep, so. <laughs> I've just been pushing and pushing and pushing. And, and Jebby, to answer your question, the new Instagram algorithm, if... I'm again telling everybody to turn on post notifications tomorrow. If I don't get enough people 
commenting and liking on my posts in a few weeks, I'm going to stop making videos and just start posting pictures. You work full time and live with two disabled people. That's that's a lot, yeah. Um, no, I'm from Jersey. I just work a full time job, and then uh, Instagram would be the second full time job. Well, that's the thing, guys. I haven't, I have not slept for a year and a half to put out videos. And if nobody's commenting, nobody's liking them, I can't put four hours a day into videos. <laughs> I just gotta walk away. And people are like, yo, Instagram is like literally taking like years of work that I put into it and just pulling it out from under me. And they're like, well, you're basically like, if you want your post to be seen, promote this post starting at $5.99. It's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> like, they literally. They literally have everybody by the balls right now unless you you hit like 2 million followers before this happened. No, 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 no. Mo, I'm saying starting at $5.99. <laughs> Like, no, I'm, I'm asking you guys to turn on notifications and comment and I'm asking, I'm asking everybody on my story to turn on notifications and comment. <laughs> Thank you for trying, Eddie. But here's the problem, Jebby. Here's the problem. My Insta is Blake, Blake underscore 201. Yes, this is live. The crunch is the outside shell of the bread. I'm freaking tired, man. And if I put, if I put like, four hours into like a masterpiece video and I post and in five minutes I just know it's going to shit and I just wasted four hours yesterday. I just want to friggin flip out and that's happened in the last like in the last three four weeks that's happened more times than not. So Thank you, Eddie. Eddie. So I'm going to give it a few more weeks. I'm going to try to get everybody commenting and liking my posts and viewing them. And if it gets enough engagement at the beginning, then my posts stay in people's feeds. If, if it doesn't, you guys don't see my posts without notifications. Like, if you, if you guys want to know why the people you follow, you no longer see their posts. Unless, like, you see it and it said, like, posted, like, 16 hours ago, 3 hours ago. That's why. No, don't worry about it now, Carl. 
it's really got to be in the first, primarily in the first hour, but really in the first few minutes. From what I understand. And it seems to be true because some of my posts are just friggin' so dead. And I'm just like, I built up this, like I built this myself. And then they're just like, nah, we're not going to show your stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty bitter. And when people ask me, like, why don't you live stream on Instagram? I'm just like, why put all of your big eggs in one basket? <clears throat> like, I'm glad I did stuff on YouTube. I got a lot of stuff from YouTube. That New York Post Thanksgiving article last week was from YouTube. So, and I'm, I'm licensing another video from my YouTube. So, just having stuff and I'm continuing to do YouTube is good. Thank you, Carl. Just time him out. If he doesn't stop spamming, just time him out. If I could be in Florida right now, I could, I would. I would. Jebby's one of my mods. A lot of the most beautiful girls here in Florida. Yeah, it's not a good idea to attack one of my mods. See wags, I mean, and you're a subscriber, so I mean, what is why you guys argue, man? Look, can you guys listen to me for a second? I'm eating fucking sandwiches. Pay attention to fucking sandwiches and start arguing about bullshit. <laughs> What's wrong, you guys? He called Je Jeffy an anti-Semitic term. And Jeffy ain't Jewish. From what I've seen. Have a good day, Darmish. <laughs> no, no. I don't, look. I don't mind people coming in here to fight like children. It happens. It happens, young T.Y. Young Kieran Knitter? Young Kieran Knitter? Oscar Isaacs. Don't know who that is. Coco Bobo. My sandwich isn't dry. There's a crispy shell. Soft bread. It's a dry sandwich. <laughs> People also assume I'm, I'm a competitive eater because I eat 12 sandwiches.
Ed Stahl, I'll make you a mod after the stream. Drink the syrup. Hot jazz man. Look, this is as much syrup drinking as you're going to get. And that ain't too shabby. You're not a competitive eater, but you're a rapper. Okay. Am I vegan? Yes, these are these are vegan honey barbecue chicken sandwiches. I can't. Time out. What does E Tab have to do to be a mod? Yes, my stomach is going to explode. Are you a child or a really unintelligent adult? <laughs> Everybody in here... Everybody in here knows what ETAB has to do. For those of you who are new to Twitch or new to my streams, ETAB, ETAB followed me here from YouTube, who cannot be, be a mod because she doesn't eat. So I made a deal with her. I made a deal with her. Look, I will make you a mod if you eat one slice of bread on video, okay? She wouldn't do it. It's been months. Still has not eaten a slice of bread. Is she gluten intolerant? Does she have Crohn's disease? None of that. She doesn't eat. <laughs> yeah, if a guy's muscle imploded it sounds like there's more going on than I mean I could be wrong what the hell do I know but it sounds like he was probably fucking around with some steroids and some other god knows what but what the hell do I know like I said you, if you tear a muscle Look, using steroids is probably not the best idea. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely not the best idea, but... Well, that's one of those cases where I say probably not the best idea. Because while I don't know enough about steroids to like make a friggin' people claim I'm on roids all the time and I'm not big enough to be on steroids. Or they'll claim like, a, I guess there's brands, are there brands of steroids? Or certain types. And they'll call a type out. This guy's taking this. I don't know what they're talking about. So I'll have to Google the word that they typed. And then they'll come up as some type of steroid. I'll be like. I'm 6'2". So. I'd be a fucking monster if I took if I took steroids. I'd be huge. I'd be fucking enormous.
You know what I also probably wouldn't like? The average shit I do, like riding my bike and calisthenics and all this other shit. Look, there's... I'm not saying you could guess everybody on steroids, but you could pretty much tell, I would, I would assume you could tell most people. Let me flex. I don't know which arm is bigger. You know, I don't even believe in ectomorphs. I don't even believe in that. Like... In a sense, in a sense, chill, Jazz man, chill. Like, I did lose 60 pounds, and I did have to gain 60 pounds in order to lose it. However, I have the body type where I don't look thick. If, if I gain weight, it doesn't look like muscle. And again, Bojo, it's not magic. Thank you, Jasmine. Is it Jasmine or Jasmine? Are you a dude or a chick? I'm going with man. I'm just. Because the name is like Jasmine. Everybody's going with dude. Always assume it's a man unless you mean a person. Correct. If a hot chick is flirting with you on the internet, assume it's a man. And once you meet that hot chick, still assume it's a man. Until you know. Until you know. Because statistically, I don't know what the statistics are, but everybody's heard a story about some guy who went on a date with some chick who turned out to be a dude. No, you can't know. Some dudes, some dudes look better than chicks nowadays when they're dressed as a chick. <clears throat> you know, get a little electrolysis, do a little friggin' mangina tuck. And then, next thing you know, you're on a Tinder date with some chick who turns out to be a dude. Adam's apple chick. Imagine that. <laughs> Dude, well that's, well that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what you gotta be careful for. You gotta know. You gotta know. How, let me wash my hands. There's got to be some type of screening process. 
you have to question it. And at some point, if things start to get like somewhat whatever, you gotta you gotta test, man. You gotta I don't know, do a cup check. I don't even friggin' know. Like what happened to the screen? You gotta do something. I don't know, does anybody have any recommendations besides checking for an Adam's apple and a cup check? It's not binge eating. It's completely controlled and counted. Medical records since birth check. Yeah, if, if you're on a date and you see her at the urinal, pissing out of her dress, standing up, facing forward, then it might be a dude. That's a red flag. I'll, I'll tell you what, that's a red flag. If you guys want to know more about my diet, click the info page. If you guys are following me on Instagram, subscribe to my posts and friggin' comment on that shit. Um, what was I going to say? Comment on that shit right away when you see my post go up. As long as hers ain't bigger than yours. Yes, I am Lenny Kravitz. If you would like to see uh, Lenny Kravitz eat again, come back tomorrow. Hot Jasmine. Hot Jasmine. This is, these are counted meals. Calories, macros, micros, using the shiwi. Is the shiwi that thing? Yeah, so do I, windmills. So do I. Oh, I do that during the day from 8.30 to 5.00. And then do all this other stuff. I look like Ajit Pai. Alright, you guys are calling names and I don't know who any of these people are. But, thank you all for coming. I will be here. I will be here probably tomorrow night. Honestly, I won't be here tomorrow night. And I'll be making... I don't freaking know. But, thank you all. Thank you mods. Thank you subscribers. All that stuff. Thank you guys for the bits. I'll see you later. I gotta make Eddie, uh, I gotta do it from another thing.